So one of the common questions that patients have um, about rotator cuff tears is, can an x-ray show a rotator cuff tear? And the answer is kind of. Um, so, you know, an x-ray is a 2D image of just the, the bony anatomy of your shoulder. So it shows the, the humerus, which is the ball, and the glenoid, which is the socket, and your acromion, which is kind of the top part of your uh, shoulder right here. Now, when you look at that, uh, you can see indications of a possible rotator cuff tear. Uh, sometimes there's a little spur on the acromion that can indicate a tear. You can see a little bit of wear and tear on the humerus indicating a tear. Um, sometimes the, there's a severely arthritic changes that go along with rotator cuff tears that are very obvious. Um, so you can see some tears, but the vast majority of rotator cuffs are, uh, rotator cuff tears are viewed through soft tissue imaging. And there's three main modalities, really two. The number one by far is most common is, is MRI. Um, and MRI is where you go, you sit in a magnet for 30 to 40 minutes, a very powerful magnet, and it sees all the tissues of your shoulder. Uh, the second most common would be ultrasound. And that's what we utilize in our clinic. Um, ultrasound's amazing because it's real time. The newer technology has incredibly high uh, resolution. Um, it's quicker. It takes about 30 seconds to do an ultrasound exam versus hours to go get an MRI. Um, and it's very comfortable because you're sitting up, you know, the, 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 and, and we, and I do it in the office along with my associates. And so we, you're just sitting in a chair and we just run a probe really quickly over your shoulder and we can see everything that you can see with an MRI regarding your rotator cuff. The third is something that was used, um, you know, it's been used in the past some, it's a CT arthrogram. Um, so that's something that surgeons will order if they, if a patient can't get an MRI for various reasons. So pacemaker, claustrophobia, et cetera, uh, and they don't know how to use ultrasound, they'll, they'll get a CT arthrogram sometimes. But really it's, it's MRI is 99%. We are unique in that we utilize ultrasound. Um, X-rays can show you some things, but you really want to get some sort of soft tissue imaging to confirm that it is a rotator cuff tear and also to uh, be able to understand the pattern of the tear. You want to look at atrophy, retraction. There's a lot of factors that we utilize on those soft tissue imagings to, to help counsel you as a patient what to do next with your shoulder.